Overseas now and Russian forces launched a wave of missiles and self-exploding drones at Ukraine overnight, killing at least 11 people and injuring others. The early morning strikes have been seen as a response to a commitment by Germany and the United States to send tanks eastward. Europe correspondent Lisa Raymer reports. The playbook of war is becoming uncomfortably familiar. This ambush from Moscow, a relentless attack of missiles and drones. Painful, but predictable. In the wake of news, the West will be sending tanks to Ukraine. Such grief, my life is broken, says this woman. Eleven people lost their lives, killed in this latest outburst of Russian aggression. Almost a year into the war and exhausted Ukrainians are still waking up to new damage, spending their days searching the rubble for their old, happier lives. The president clinging to the glimmer of hope he's been handed this week. We have to form a fist of tanks, a fist of freedom, that will not allow tyranny to rise again, he said. But when the promised tanks will actually arrive is causing concern. They are needed now. The German defence minister today denied there'd been any delay. The tanks, he said, would be delivered on time. The latest may be at the end of March. Already, Ukrainian allies are being urged to do even more to end this war. The skies should be closed. Close the skies, this woman pleads. While Dmitry, a wounded soldier, spells out the simplicity of Ukraine's fight. Without your help, we wouldn't hold on, he says. Help is on its way, but it's a painful wait. And today, it was a deadly one. In London, Lisette Raymond, News Hub.